Boys with Kim for Psych2Go and today we are going to be talking about 10 common dreams and their meanings. Number one, car troubles. In these types of dreams you are usually in or near a car or some other type of vehicle which is out of control or has other problems. For example, the brakes may have failed or you may have lost control of the steering or you may be heading over a cliff or crashing that vehicle. You can either be the driver or the passenger. This is a very common type of nightmare and occurs in all people, not just those who can drive. This dream usually means that you are feeling powerless over something in your life, or that you are heading for a crash, metaphorically speaking, of course. Number two, faulty machinery. In the faulty machinery dream, you are trying to operate mechanical equipment, which either fails to work or fails to work in the way that you expect it to. The vast majority of these dreams involve a telephone, either trouble dialing, losing connection, or dialing a wrong number. It can involve a loss of internet connection or something manual, like a jammed or broken machine. This dream often means that you feel like you are losing touch with reality, or that a part of your body or mind is not functioning as it should. It can also occur when you are feeling anxious about making a connection with another person in real life. Number three, lost or trapped. Dreaming about being lost is very common and will usually occur when you are having a conflict in deciding how to react in a situation in real life. In the dream, you are trying to find your way out of an area such as a forest, city, streets, a large building, or another maze-like structure. This is often accompanied by the feeling of terror. This dream usually means that you are trapped in real life, unable to make the right choice. Four, missed a boat or plane. In this dream, you are rushing to catch a bus, train, plane, or other type of public transport, but you miss it, usually by only a fraction of a second. Rather than feeling fear in this dream, you usually feel frustration. This dream can also occur in a different form, in which you arrive late for an important performance or sporting event that you are supposed to participate in, only to find that the event has already begun. This dream usually means that you feel like you have missed out on an important opportunity in your real life. It will often occur when you are struggling over an important decision. Five, failing a test. This dream usually manifests itself in people who have been out of school for a long time. In the dream, you are prevented from passing a test in a variety of different possible scenarios. In one scenario, you find that you are unable to make it to the test on time, often through being unable to find the test room. In other versions, you are unprepared, either through lack of studying or you are missing equipment. This dream usually means that you are feeling tested in some way in your real life. Six, ill or dying. In this dream, you or a loved one are ill, injured, or dying. It is moderately common dream and not surprisingly occurs often at the onset of an illness. Aside from becoming ill, this dream can mean that you are emotionally hurt or are afraid of becoming hurt. The dream may also be a warning you of upcoming physical risk to yourself or a loved one. When it is someone else in the dream that dies, it can mean that you feel like part of yourself that you see represented in that person is dead. It may also mean that you wish the person would go away or that you fear losing them. Seven, being chased. Dreaming of being chased can be a truly horrifying experience. Most often the chaser is a monster or some person that is frightening to you, and occasionally it may even be an animal. You may be surprised to know that this is the most commonly experienced nightmare theme. The meaning of these dreams is that someone or something, possibly something like an obscure as an emotion, is making you feel threatened. One way to determine the root of the threat is to ask yourself who or what in your real life most closely resembles the creature or circumstance in your dream. Bad or missing teeth. Teeth dreams are fairly common and usually involve the discovery of extremely decayed or missing teeth in your own mouth. Sometimes you will dream that you open your mouth and your teeth begin to fall out. It's not surprising that we feel so emotionally disturbed by these dreams. So what does it mean when we dream about missing teeth? At the most basic level, it means that we are afraid of being found unattractive. At a deeper level, it can signify a, feel of, a, a fear of embarrassment or a loss of power in your real life. Nine, dream nudity. In this type of dream, you are in a state of undress, partial undress, or inappropriate dress, for example, wearing pajamas to work. Occasionally, you are the witness to another person who is naked while you are clothed. This is often accompanied by feelings of embarrassment and shame, but occasionally with the feeling of pride or freedom. 
The meaning of this dream is that you are feeling exposed, awkward, or vulnerable, or you are afraid to have revealed too much about yourself, such as a secret or a very personal feeling in real life. And 10 is falling or sinking. We have all had falling dreams. It is such a common dream to have. In fact, it is so common that myths have arisen over them. And the most common myth being that, of course, that you will die if you hit the ground in your dream. You, that does not happen. It's not true. I've hit the ground in a ton of my dreams and I am clearly not dead. Um, occasionally we may be sinking in water, not just falling. And typically a person having this dream is feeling insecure or lacking the support in their waking life. These dreams often occur when you are overwhelmed in real life and feel ready to give up. If you have this dream, you should evaluate your current situation and try to locate the problem that is overwhelming you. Deal with it and then the dream should go away. Thank you so much for watching guys. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, thought it was cool, learned some cool new facts about the types of dreams that you're having. If you have any other questions about dream meetings, leave them down below in the comments and I will see you guys later. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe to this channel as well. Also, don't forget to go over to my channel. Go subscribe. Bye, guys.